Good morning, everyone. It is Friday, April 17th, and Friday means modern. As is typical for the week sets release on Magic Online, the modern list, the modern league deck dump after the set releases has many, many fewer decks in it as usual. Uh, in fact, today we've got 23 decks, and we're used to seeing over 50 for modern. So that it's normal. It happens every set release. You can go back and look at the data. It's actually kind of funny. Uh, people don't play modern right after the set comes out. They're getting their cards and figuring out what they want to do. And then the next, it's back to normal the next week. Uh, so let's take a look and see what did get through this week. And I don't believe there are any Ikoria cards in this dump. I didn't see any on a really quick scan, but uh, yeah, I don't think there are any. We'll see. All right, first off, we've got Escape Shift deck. Oh, this is Peer Through the Depths. Cryptic. This is an odd deck. This is base. Huh. So it's Escape Shift. There's no prime time. It's Teamer. So it's Rug Escape Shift, but no prime time. Very interesting. Um, not sure what to make of that. It's trying to win with Uro. Very recursive threat. But yeah, that's a thing. We've got more threats in the side. Obviously, Inferno Titan, Baloth, Thrun, Sphinx, Thrag Tusk. Interesting deck. It looks, you know, transformative sideboard style stuff. Phantasmal Bear, that was, that's a clever one. POC with uh, Eldrazi and Taxes, or is this Eldrazi? This is, yeah, Eldrazi and Taxes. Thought Not Seer, or Eldrazi Blade, or whatever we're calling these things these days. We are in Mono White. So this is, yeah, Eldrazi and Taxes. Um... Yeah, I mean it's it's a it's an aggro deck. It it with disruption with the displacer and the flicker wisp and thought not seer. Um, black does get you some extra stuff, but white makes the mana a lot simpler, and you can start doing uh, ghost quarter shenanigans. United Games Co. with looks like Bant Control. No, it's not Bant Control. It's just Bant Snow. Sorry, Teamer Snow. Arkham's Astrolabe, Mind Sculptor. Yeah, Teamer Snow mid range. Good old Goif. And, yeah. What do we got in the side here? A Pillage, some Cages, Huntmaster. Interesting. Weather the Storm. Yeah. Teamer Snow. Luke Thomas 2 with Gruel Midrange. And the this one's got four Pillage instead of three. Three Glory Bringer instead of four. Uh, I don't... Is Season Pyromancer normal in this deck? I'd have to go back and look. Uh, but, yeah, this is all the rage. And if you haven't noticed, Magus of the Moon paper prices skyrocketed in the last couple of days. It went from about, it had been around $7 or so, and now we're up to close to 20, 15 to 20, depending on which printing. Cyberzilla with uh, Eldrazi Tron and an Inbringer main. Really about the only notable thing here. Yep, Eldrazi Tron. Damon X Wind with. Uh, this is the Devoted Druid combo deck with Stoneforge Mystic and no Heliods. So this is. What? Green White Stone Blade? We're trying to get to Emrakul. How do. Emrakul? Yeah, well, I guess you've got infinite mana. Yeah. So if they take your Ballista, your Emrakul is, is plan B. It's a good plan B. True Hero 
with black red on Ur. Ah, uh, no, this is Mardu Shadow. Saw the Unearths in there and the Croxa, and I, my brain first went black red on Earth. But this is Mardu Shadow. And it is not running tight hollow skull. That's nice. Uh, yeah. So Shadow's back. It did not appear at all in last week's preliminary list, which I found interesting. Speaking of preliminaries, I, I mentioned I'm not going to be doing next week uh, a preliminary episode because of the way... Um, with the new set, I wanted things to shake out, but they haven't posted any preliminary results since Monday. So I will probably be looking at a different style of tournament if the uh, the deck dump reports don't change structure. We'll have to see what they're actually going to start reporting after Ikoria hits. And then I'll uh, when I look at the metagame, the overall metagames, then I'll uh, I'll change probably change what tournaments I look at. Chase 111 with Boros Burn. And this one's got Vexing Devils, which you don't see that often. Uh, but all the other Burn favorites are here. Yep. Swift Spear, Eidolon. All the good stuff. Tabular Tony 1 with... Uh, this is Bant Snow Control. It is Bant this time. I got it right. And, yeah. This is the control deck of the format right now. Court 5 with... Uh, this is the Heliod Coco combo. So is this one Obzon? Yeah, we're Obzon here. I don't know. Yeah. Carrion Feeder. We've got a couple of combos in here, don't we? We've got Spike Feeder. We got Viscera Seer, Red Cap, Anafenza. This is this is all the combo deck. Take your pick. Which combo are we going to win with this game? Love Aliens. This is what is this? Black Red Mid. What? We're Jund. This is Jund. I'm starting to get thrown by the plane. Is it me, or did this change recently where Planeswalkers are listed before creatures? I seem to remember Planeswalkers being listed lower, but I'm just noticing it now, so maybe I'm wrong. But yeah, this is this is a Jun deck. Uh, six hand disruption here with Inquisition and Thoughtseize, a couple Croxa. Uh, Bloodbraid Elf. Bloodbraid Elf and the Croxa would be interesting. Um, yeah. Good old Jund. Though, this is kind of good new Jund, right? How many cards in the last year? Ashiok, Renin 6, Kroxa. Yeah, just those. But, I mean, those are major parts of the deck. Hugo Freitas 1 with Storm. Gift Storm. 2 Grape Shot. The uh, Empty the Warrens are in the side. This is definitely... So... Putting all the empty of the Warrens in the side is definitely a statement that you don't expect to see Meddling Mage. Because Meddling Mage kind of destroys this deck. If you can't, you almost can't win game one if they get a Meddling Mage out and name Grape Shot. EDB with. Uh, what have we got? We've got Prime Time. We've got Amulet of Vigor. This is Amulet Titan. And. Two Golos. That's that's a statement right there. It's another threat. All right. Tenkasu with just good old Goryo's Vengeance. This is not Grishel Brand. This uh, it's Breach as well, but. This isn't Neo Brand. This isn't Grisho Brand. This is just Gorio's Vengeance. Uh, it would not surprise me if Graveyard Hate is a little low right now. If this deck sneaks through, yeah. And speaking of Neo Brand, here it is. Um, less said about that deck, the better. I I dislike. I know this deck doesn't perform consistently 
but I don't like that this deck exists in the format. I don't. I just don't think it's a good. I don't think it's good for Magic. Combos are one thing. This one is a little over the top. Crazy Clicker with another Heliog combo deck. Um, this one has fewer combos in it. We do have the Spike Feeder, but we don't also have the uh, Murderous Red Cap combo. But uh, yeah, Green White Heliod. Trellon with Mono Blue Tron. Cyclonic Rift, Mer Sundering Titan, Ugin. Uh, one Mind Slaver. Yep, all the hits are here. Insano with Wurza is this. This is um, Jeskai Wurza. Interesting. Kind of a little control deck with the Wurza finish. And we have our Thought to Sword combo. Over 9,000 with Titan Shift. His results in this list were over 9,000. And two explorers and escape to the wilds. Interesting. Yep, Titan Shift. J Dom gets a 5 0 with goblins. And this is the. Yeah, this is combo goblin, goblins. So it's got the um, Grum Gully, Murderous Red Cap, Skirk Prospector combo. Uh, yep. Nice. And with Aether Vial, you can probably do it at end of turn, too. <clears throat> Shorak, one, two, three, with... This is... Green, blue. Oh, this is Reclamation. Simic Reclamation. Okay. Two Nexus of Fate. Yep. Pyroclasm. It is it is Teamer. Um, but yeah. So that's a that's your reclamation deck. Agi Fly with humans. We have one deputy of detention main. One militia bugler main. Couple unsettled mariners, not always what you see in humans. You usually see that in um, spirits as opposed to humans. But yeah, love that deck. Magus of the Moon in the side. And our last list of the day is from Sam Brand four one four, and he brings us Dredge. So we got uh, Gorio's Vengeance and Dredge. Definitely got the graveyard decks in here this week. That's about it for today. Next week, we should start seeing Ikoria cards show up. So what's going to happen in Pioneer and Modern with Ikoria? How are the companions going to do, etc., etc.? Um, yeah, let's, let's see and find out. Thanks for watching and listening today. I do appreciate it. If you enjoy what I'm doing here, do please hit the like and subscribe buttons. I do appreciate it greatly. It helps other people find the show. And hit that uh, notification bell if you want to know when my next video comes up. So that's about it for today. Have a good weekend. Stay safe out there. And we will be back Monday with Pioneer and hopefully Aquaria cards. Bye-bye.